Ready to improve the way you collect data and more with Microsoft Forms? Recently, Microsoft rolled out several valuable updates and improvements, introducing not only just a refresh look, but powerful capabilities that you might not be yet fully using. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the updated Microsoft Forms experience, showcasing a new design that enhances form creation, distribution, and response analysis. We'll explore key new improvements, such as pre-filled questionnaires to save your respondents valuable time, new Excel integration for synchronizing and analyzing your responses with both yourself and your team, and a new quiz practice mode designed to improve learning outcomes too when you use Microsoft Forms for quizzes. So whether you use Microsoft Forms regularly or new to it, these enhanced tools and updates will help you work more smarter and more efficiently without needing any extra licenses for Microsoft Copilot. So let's dive in, explore what's new, what's better, and how you can leverage these new improvements right away. And remember that 90% of viewers who watch our tutorials here on our channel haven't yet subscribed. So don't be one of them. Hit the subscribe button now and you'll never miss out on free weekly tutorials designed to make you more productive with the tools you already have. So let's dive into Microsoft Forms and see what's new. So you join me in Microsoft Forms. We're gonna be checking out some of these new updates together. The first being a new updated design for Microsoft Forms. It rolled out at the end of 2024, so you may have seen this before. If you haven't though, you'll find it now makes Microsoft Forms more easier to use. An example of that is a new templates option at the top of the Forms homepage. You can select one of these options here to be taken into the new form experience and then choose from different templates. And before we do that, you do also have an option for a template gallery to see all the different template types. But I find this new experience is a lot easier to use. By selecting research as an example here, a new Microsoft form will be created on the right. I can give it a title and all these different questions that I need. But on the left, we now see these featured templates. If I select market research survey and left click, on the right hand side, in real time, we'll see a design applied to Microsoft Forms and a range of sections and questions all added in from our template. But what if I wanted to change a template? Would I then need to go and recreate a new form to test it out? Well, no, you can now switch your templates in real time. By selecting Customer Expectations Survey, on the right hand side, it changes the title and the questions that new template type, which you can once again preview. This new template experience in Microsoft Forms aligning to the new design makes it a lot easier to use templates and build forms really quickly. And in a new change to Microsoft Forms that many of you have asked for, including me, is the ability to have a pre-fillable questionnaire or survey. That means now you can send on the survey a questionnaire to the respondent with pre-filled in fields. But how does it work in the reality of Microsoft Forms? Well, open up your existing or new Microsoft form, head to the freed up menu in the right and select get pre-filled URL. It takes you to a new editor experience and ensure that you have this checked to enable pre-filled answers. Then go ahead in any of your questions, click into them and type the result you'd like to have pre-filled in in your questionnaire or survey. With that now done, scroll to the bottom and select get pre-filled link. Copy this link here and share it with your respondents. And let's go and find out how that looks in reality by giving it a go in an incognito or in private browsing tab. And there we go. As we can see here, the survey I now followed up web link has these two questions pre-filled. The event was held in London and the event host was Alex Wilbur. This information can be overtyped by the respondent. So for any reason they received this link and they didn't go to this event or a different event host was there, they could overtype it just like they would do in Microsoft Forms. So it doesn't prevent them editing these fields, but it does give them a structure to follow and will save them time with these pre-filled in information fields. And you can also use Microsoft Forms to help you get responses back quickly. If we go ahead and select collect responses, you'll now see the ability to go ahead and also share this 
inside of Microsoft Teams or Outlook. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite the invitation, letting people know that I'd love to have feedback on the event itself. And sure, I could go ahead and type in people's name to share this in Microsoft Teams or Outlook. But also what I'd like to do is share it with a Microsoft Teams channel. The Project Greenspace project team all reside in that area. So let's go ahead and search for the words Project Greenspace. It'll search across all of my different groups I'm part of, chats in Microsoft Teams, and finally, I see the general channel in our Project Greenspace Microsoft team. I can now uncheck to send it via Outlook and only send it by Microsoft Teams, and go ahead and click on Send. So it'll now be shared in Microsoft Teams. And we can see that right here. Inside of the Microsoft team, I've now added this link directly from Microsoft Forms. And if one of my colleagues goes ahead and click on the Start Now, They'll be taken into Microsoft Forms, starting to begin to complete the form and give me back that important feedback. So as you can see, it's now really easy to collect responses from your team, use Microsoft Teams, or even chat messages and Outlook too. Before we continue on, I've got something special just for you. We've created an incredible collection of Microsoft 365 eBooks, completely free, to help you master tools like Microsoft Teams Copilot Loop and much more. These resources are designed by us specifically to help you become the productivity superstar I know you can be. So don't miss out. Click the link in the video description below to access and download your own free Microsoft 365 ebook collection. It's our way of supporting your journey towards mastering Microsoft 365 and boosting your productivity. Now let's get back into what's new in Microsoft Forms. And there's a new change in Microsoft Forms for quizzes, allowing you now to set up a practice mode. So as an example, I've got a quiz here from some of my students where I'm gonna be focusing on program languages and their importance in IT systems. I'd like to use this quiz though as a way to ensure that well understood the topic, not a pass or a fail mark at the end of the module. To do that in Microsoft Forms, we'll go to settings now we can check the box for practice mode. With that now enabled, I could go ahead and share this with my students who can have a go at this quiz, but as we'll see, it'll work very differently to as we've seen before. And you can see behind me that I've now followed this link as one of my students. When they see these different questions, I can go ahead and once again click on the relevant answer. But this time you'll see a different type of experience. If the student gets the wrong answer, Microsoft Forms will advise them that they were nearly there. They can then change their answer and resubmit it. And when they get it correct, they can move forward. The same again here. If we also make a change in an incorrect answer, well here we can click on show correct answer if I was struggling and also show me here. So as we can see, Microsoft Forms quizzes capability can now be used in a better approach when it comes to learning and also supporting different learning methods by enabling practice mode. And of course, practice mode is an optional setup. You could continue to use it in the way you did previously, but there may also be scenarios where this could really help. And there's a new change in Microsoft Forms to you to synchronize your responses to an Excel workbook. Now also that does come with considerations, which also we'll talk about shortly, because I know that many of you may well have been frustrated with this new change, but for some who haven't used it, well, you may also want to take advantage of it. So here we have a Microsoft form and also I'd like to have a connected Excel workbook. I could do that by clicking on view responses and in the right hand side, we can see we can open the results in Excel. By left clicking this here, it'll go ahead and open up an Excel workbook and it will be stored in my own OneDrive for Business as this survey was created on my own personal account. So not under a Microsoft 365 group or Microsoft team. And as you'll now see, this Excel workbook is now gonna automatically sync changes in Microsoft Forms. That means as new responses come in, this workbook will also show them when I open up the workbook. Let's give that a go by filling in the Microsoft form and we'll see if this now adds another row into my spreadsheet. So with our survey now fully completed, let's go ahead and click on the submit button. And heading back into our Excel workbook, we can immediately see that the second row has now been added into our spreadsheet, bringing that back in real time. So you can see how you can now connect an Excel workbook and pull these responses back immediately. 
However, it's not without its challenges. For example, if someone filled in this survey result, it would not appear in Excel workbook automatically. It's rather synchronized when Excel workbook is opened. I know that has caught out some people. They've run it for processes or to add rows into Excel. It will not automatically happen unless you've built in integrations through Power Automate or Flow. So do be aware of that limitation. But in Microsoft Forms, it's really easy to also get back to this spreadsheet. Go ahead and once again click on View Responses. And when you created that Excel workbook from that approach, you'll see it's now available here. By left clicking, it takes you back into that Excel spreadsheet. In addition, clicking on the drop down menu, you can download a copy or disconnect it and create a whole new workbook if you would prefer. But yes, do be aware of those limitations when it comes to synchronization and also that where you ever you created your form is where your Excel workbook will live. So be mindful creating personal forms, meaning this spreadsheet will be stored in your own OneDrive for business. But that then opens the question, is there a quick way to create a Microsoft form in a Microsoft team that has this Excel workbook capability? And absolutely there is. Inside of Microsoft Teams, you can click on the new drop down in one of your channels. And you'll see a new option for form survey, which includes with this Excel icon. By left clicking, it'll take us into the Microsoft Forms experience to create our brand new form. And from what we've already shared today, you can go ahead and click on templates and select one of your templates on the left hand side or create your form from scratch. With our form now completed, we've got an environmental issues survey created from our template here and we can begin to collect responses. By selecting collect responses, we can copy that link and then share it with different people to begin to get our responses from. As your Microsoft form begins to get responses, you can go ahead and click on view responses just like we did previously. This time when we open results in Excel, the connected workbook will be created directly in your Microsoft team. You and your colleagues also have access to. And you can even see here it's created an Excel workbook in our Microsoft Teams channel. By left clicking the Excel file, it'll go ahead and open up the spreadsheet directly in Excel and begin to look for any changes taken from the Microsoft form once again. That's a great and easy way to also have a Microsoft form created for your team or group of people and share the workbook with your team in one single place. So there you have it. Today we've explored the latest improvements in Microsoft Forms, including the new refresh design, handy pre-filled questionnaires and surveys, better or more improved Excel integration depending on your perspective. These new enhancements make Forms more intuitive than powerful than ever before, simplifying how you collect and manage vital feedback. And personally, I believe Microsoft Forms continues to be the ideal tool for gathering survey responses and feedback, whether you're managing training sessions, running projects, or engaging with your own teams. While we've recently covered the new forms in list capability on this channel, which I know many of you enjoy using, Microsoft Forms for me remains my preferred solution when I'm gonna also collect surveys and questionnaires on projects or for an event I've hosted. And that can make it a productivity essential when it comes to finding out how forms can work for you. And remember, don't be part of the 90% who watch but haven't subscribed. Click the subscribe button right now, join our community, and let's collectively enhance the way we work and become productivity superstars together. Other than that, well, I'll see you on the next one.